the technology has been realized and the car is on the road. The United States government has granted tens of millions of dollars in subsidies and global corporations from Germany and South Korea have extended their hands. All the conditions have been met, yet this company's stock price has not moved. Why? The story begins in 2011 in the state of Colorado, United States. There was a small startup called Solid Power. This company set out to fundamentally change the structure of conventional lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries use liquid electrolytes. However, this liquid is made of flammable materials, making it prone to fires when subjected to impact or overheating. In contrast, solid-state batteries have electrolytes entirely in solid form, drastically reducing fire risk, increasing energy density, and enabling faster charging. But this technology is extremely difficult to implement. Solid electrolytes have low ion conductivity due to slow ion movement. Their interface contact with electrodes is unstable, which leads to shortened cell lifespans. Furthermore, the manufacturing process is complex, and it's difficult to mass-produce large cells uniformly. For these reasons, solid-state batteries have long been called a technology that exists but cannot be sold. But solid power was different. The company developed large-format cells rated at 100 ampere hours using a sulfide-based solid electrolyte and brought its technology to a level where it could be manufactured through pilot lines. This achievement drew the world's attention in 2021. That year, German automaker BMW and U.S. automaker Ford jointly invested $130 million in solid power. Typically, automakers procure battery cells externally, but this time was different. Both companies became active technology partners, not just investors, by signing joint development agreements. This was an unusual move. Unless the technology has clearly matured beyond lab scale to production grade, such partnerships are rarely formed. That same year, Solid Power merged with a SPAC called DCRC and was listed on the NASDAQ. Uh, the merger secured approximately $540 million in funding. This listing was a reflection of the market's strong expectations for the company's technology. At the same time, South Korea's SK Innovation, which later spun off SK On as a battery-focused entity, joined hands with Solid Power. They entered a multi-layered agreement involving joint development of solid electrolytes, pilot production lines in South Korea, and long-term supply contracts. In 2022, Solid Power began operating its pilot line in Colorado, capable of producing 100 ampere-hour cells. This was no longer just a lab experiment. The company had secured near-mass production capabilities. In 2023, Solid Power shipped a sample solid